Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, Tina and I are getting ready to harvest the sweet potatoes right there. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna get over there and get on them and you're welcome to come with us. But uh, Tina is gonna do most of the harvesting and we're gonna tell you about that in just a minute. guys like I said today we're going to be harvesting our sweet potatoes now that's an eight foot across water trough that's 56 square feet last year we took about 150 pounds of sweet potatoes out of it we got a lot of hopes for it this year we have all the vines cut off of it we did that the other day so the soils had a little bit of a chance to dry and uh, Tina's going to get in there and harvest now inevitably every time we post the sweet potato harvest video everybody asks why I don't help Tina but uh, this is Tina's baby. She, uh, she enjoyed planting them. Um, I do the planting. I, I set up the soil, we make arrangements for the slips. But uh, Tina tends these sweet potatoes all summer long and she looks forward to playing in her big eight foot sandbox all year long. So we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go along, but we're gonna slide over there to the box and we're gonna start pulling potatoes out of the ground. All right guys, while well, Tina picks out a starting point, We'll show you around here on the ground. We got all the vines and stuff were cut a couple days ago. But we'll get up here on the sweet potato bed. What are you uncovering? She's found one. But we'll show you, we cut the vines away. There are little sweet potato heads sticking out of the ground all over the place. Get down here and show you some of these. But uh, we'll back out here. She'll pick us a place to start. And then she'll start digging, and once she gets a, once she gets enough cleared, then uh, she'll climb up in there, I'm sure. And you'll see that this becomes a giant eight-foot sandbox to her. So, we'll uh, we'll get started here, and we'll bring you back and show you some more here in a bit. All right, guys, we're getting a starting point here, but we wanted to show you how much perlite and stuff is in this soil, and uh, how easy it is to dig. So we don't want you thinking, you know, she's peeling through rock hard dirt to get to the sweet potatoes you can pretty much just pull them out by hand they're uh, no big deal but she's going to get in here and uh, just start feeling her way through the dirt and we've already pulled up a couple but it's just a matter of getting down in there and finding them and then trying to get them out without breaking them so we'll just cut back in and out as we go but you see she's on to one here but once she gets in there and gets going a little bit, it'll get a little more exciting. But uh, that one didn't do very good. But we'll uh, we'll bring you back here in just a little bit. We'll show you some more. All right, guys, we're gonna jump back in here. We've kind of uh, kind of been waiting a little bit to film a little more because we're off to a disappointing start so far. So can't can't do anything about it, and it does look like the bed improves as it goes on around, but. Where we started, we found some, uh, let's see if I can get over here. We found some smalls and a lot of root potatoes, but, um, you know, just not what we were expecting so far. But we have yet to get over on the other side of the bed, so better things may happen over there. All right, guys, as you can see on the right there, we've got Doug, and on the left is not Doug. So we're at about the halfway point, and... Not looking terribly good for the home team. So we are high hopes for the rest of the bed though. So we'll just see how it works out. It looks like Tina's onto some here. And uh, we got the big boy that grew up on top of the ground over there. But we're gonna keep picking at him. We'll bring you back and show you how we do. All right guys, I just cut away. I'm gonna cut right back to it. Tina just pulled this mass up out of the ground. Thought I'd show you this is about eight or ten sweet potatoes all knotted up together but uh, look like a good little clump there we'll get them separated and then uh, but we'll bring you back
All right, guys. I give you an idea where we're at, and we got, let's say, a third of the bed to go, but uh, not too awful terrible. You know, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have plenty of sweet potatoes to play with. But and if all we did was come out of this season with a dozen sweet potato pies, well, it just wouldn't be a bad season anyway. But uh, Tino, we keep going, and we'll keep loading them up. But we've done some talking. We think uh, a few things have happened here. I think the manure that we used in here was a little too hot. And uh, that accounted for some of the extreme top growth. You guys saw us trimming them all year. So that's going to be our first clue is they were just the tops were so, so big that the manure was probably too hot and had too much nitrogen in it. Now the number of uh, hair potatoes the little thin potatoes like that that is probably a crowding issue which we're going to blame on us we got excited after last year and probably overcrowded them this year but you can see you know we're still getting some they're they're still coming out but they're not the huge great big potatoes they're just a they're just a you know nice ones we'll uh, we'll be able to skin those out and use them in pies and they'll be a great size for canning but uh not gonna call this a failure, not gonna call it a whopping success, but uh, we're having fun, so that's all, that's all that really matters. And we're gonna get some sweet potato pies and some canned sweet potatoes out of it anyway. So, no big deal, we'll come back and we'll check on it when we get real close to the end here. All right guys, we just got this one last little patch to go through before we get over here. Those tools are stuck in right to where we're headed for. So we just got a little patch left to go, still continuing at about the same pace, but uh, as far as harvest, we got a nice little cart here. Actually, it's a big cart, so it kind of fools you. There's a lot of sweet potatoes in there, no joke, but uh, not as much as we had last year, probably, probably a little over half, but uh, that is going to make a whole bunch of pies and a whole bunch of canned sweet potatoes, and we're not going to argue with that. So, and what? And Tina's dirty. That's what she says. If she's dirty and she has sweet potatoes, she's happy. So, say hi to everybody. Alrighty, guys. We're going to go ahead and finish up this little patch here. I, we aren't expecting a 20-pounder to pop out. So we'll go ahead and finish up this little patch, and then we'll be back to talk to you. All right, guys. There she goes, taking her sweet potatoes up to the house. Wave goodbye. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. That's going to wrap it up for the harvest. But uh, let's have a little talk here a second about the realities of homesteading. Now, that wasn't the crop that we were hoping for, but that's the crop we're going to have to live with. So it's, it's, part of, it's part of gardening, and it's part of raising your own food. Now, we've had some successes this year. We had two bumper crops of carrots, each over a thousand carrots. Um, we have a great bumper crop of broccoli. Now, we had broccoli in the spring, but we've got a great bumper crop going on over there now, over 125 plants that we really weren't expecting to have this year, but we'll be glad to have those. The tomatoes have all but run us out of the house. We, we In fact, we stopped canning tomatoes while there were still tomatoes on the vines. So, we've been feeding them to the chickens. So. There's going to be days that we wish we'd sat down and had us a sweet potato to eat that we're not going to have one. And then we're just going to replace it with a big plate of fresh broccoli or some canned carrots or we're going to have a, a good spaghetti or some salsa. But uh, it'll change our diet just a little bit. But that's that's the way it goes. Our, our diet varies by what's in the cabinet. So we were not we're not disappointed with the year at all. I wish we'd have got a few more sweet potatoes. I'm sure Tina does, too. She's up. She's up putting them up now. But uh, they'll go upstairs in one of our upstairs bedrooms, and uh, we'll cut off the air conditioning to it, which means it'll get good and warm still up there this time of year. And uh, we'll put a couple of five gallon buckets up there to raise the humidity in that room. Now we don't want to cause a mold problem, but we do want to we do want to get the humidity up in there. So we will put a box fan up there and keep the air moving, and it'll be warm and moist, and and the air will be moving around up there. So it'll take them a couple weeks to cure out and. Uh, then you're probably going to see us. Um, we're going to be making sweet potato pie, I'm sure, and uh, we're going to be canning some of the sweet potatoes. And it'll be enough that we can share and we can enjoy sweet potatoes through the year. They're just going to become more of a treat than they are a staple. So 
that's the realities of living on a homestead. We bumper cropped a lot of other things and we're gonna have plenty of food. The shelves are full, but uh, sometimes you don't always get the crop you want, but you get you have to live with the crop you get. So we're happy with it and uh, we're just gonna move on from here. And uh, we've got a lot of videos coming up. We still got that broccoli to come. We even got an extra box of beets over there we weren't expecting this year. So those times when we get to missing the sweet potatoes, we'll just have us some pickled beets and eggs. And uh, we'll be happy with that. We love those too. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you'll give it a thumbs up and uh, leave us a comment down below. Tell us how your sweet potatoes did. Ours, uh, ours were average. We're just going to call that very average. So we, we were hoping for more, but that's what we got. So. If you like the content here on the channel, we hope you'll subscribe. Down below is a subscribe button. Next to it is a bell. If you'll click on that bell, that'll send you notifications whenever we release a new video. And that'll that'll uh, be a great way for you guys to keep up with the channel, and you'll know whenever, whenever we put something new out. So we've enjoyed having you here at the homestead. We hope you have a great day. We'll catch you in the next one.